The House of Representatives passed the Trafficking Victims Protection Act in a landslide 414 to 11 vote. The bill was first signed into law in 2000, and with this reauthorization, the programs and funding associated with it will last until 2028. This bill saves lives, and it is a bipartisan cause. It's not about politics. This is about doing the right thing. It is about our common humanity. This year's reauthorization was named the Frederick Douglass Act after the renowned abolitionist, and it was endorsed by his great-great-grandson. The bill seeks to promote situational awareness training for elementary and secondary school students through grants, requires the Secretary of State to provide information to Congress about countries that don't comply with the law's anti-human trafficking standards, authorizes survivors' employment, housing, and education programs, and authorizes a new $175 million over five years for DOJ housing assistance grants for victims of human trafficking, in addition to other measures. You know, one of the things we find is that a woman, or a man, but most are women, are liberated. Where do they go? They need help. And we do have programs in existence. This will redirect some of those funds to help them get a house, a home, uh, so that they are less likely and less vulnerable to being re-trafficked. Smith has held multiple hearings on human trafficking in which victims share stories of being raped, beaten, and having necessities like food either given or withheld as reward or punishment. That can ultimately lead to psychological damage and the belief that what happened to them is their fault. That's why trafficking is described as modern-day slavery. Does this sound like anything that a young person dreams of for their future? Being stripped and robbed of your peace of mind and of your body, your humanity, your dignity, and your respect? The Trafficking Victims Protection Act has made it far easier for prosecutors to successfully bring charges against perpetrators by creating new statutes and clarifying definitions of certain crimes. Mm. According to a Bureau of Justice Statistics on Human Trafficking Study, from 2011 to 2019, there was a 79 percent increase in defendants charged with human trafficking in U.S. district courts, an 80 percent increase in convictions, and an 82 percent increase in perpetrators who were sentenced. The most publicized case of all was Jeffrey Epstein's. He faced charges under the Trafficking Victims Protection Act, and when his victims entered into a $290 million settlement with J.P. Morgan Chase, they successfully argued that the bank was negligent when handling his finances and, quote, knowingly benefited from participating in a sex trafficking venture and obstructing enforcement of the Trafficking Victims Protection Act. One of the few lawmakers who voted against it was Congressman Chip Roy. He said human trafficking is an abomination and must be rooted out. But he explained in a statement, quote, I cannot support a measure that irresponsibly reauthorizes these programs without actually paying for them. Indeed, the Congressional Budget Office estimates this bill could cost over $1.1 billion over the next decade. I am committed to the fight to end human trafficking and will continue to support responsible solutions to do so. The bill still needs to be passed by the Senate and signed into law by the president to be made official. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan.